Hi everyone, my name is Ed. A year ago I made a video about Segment Anything model. And now Segment Anything 2 is out. Let's take a look at how it's work and its limitations. What is Segment Anything models? Uh, it's a neural network model from Meta that allow you to segment objects by a single point. Like you select a point on an object and the model return your the mask of this object. It can be prompt not with one point but with set of positive and negative points. Uh, and segment anything model was a breakthrough in labeling task. In improved segmentation speed uh, significantly. Uh, just take a look of my previous video. Segment Anything 2 main feature is video labeling. It's the main improvement from Segment Anything 1. Uh, in addition, like it's improve accuracy of segmentation because of a lot of tricks. Uh, and but mainly it's this new attention mechanism that uh, can look through the video the video history and improve segmentation on this base. And of course this greatly extends the capabilities of segmentation model. So, how to start using this model? I prepared a minimalistic example of how you can run segmentation on the video. Uh, I did this in Google Collab, the link will be in the description. Uh, all you need to run, uh, you, need, you can run this on free T4 instance and uh, to build this I use example from Meta, uh, but fixed a few issues and uh, I did it for the collab because there was no collab example in official ex uh, examples. However, for experiments, if you just want to test it, it's much easier to use the ready-made interface from Meta. You can run any video here and you don't need to customize anything. And it's super funny to just, I uploaded a lot of videos to play and understand the limitation of the model. And speaking of capabilities and limitations, tracking is amazing. It handles many occlusions and work well with different shapes. It segment complex 3D objects. Uh, it's actually much better than previous. Uh, the, there was a lot of networks that was built on top of segment anything models, and this segment anything too. It's much better than any one of them. And as you know on my channel I try to discuss the limitation of the algorithm and um, try to look at this new tool without all the hype. So here we go. It's like the limitation of Segment Anything 2 where it will not work. And it's actually it's hard to find. Uh, but I found four problems. The first uh, thing that uh, caught my, my eye was uh, that I didn't find prompting through bounding box. Maybe it's just not in the documentation yet, but it was pretty strong ability of segment anything one model. And in the article actually there is a mentioning about this bounding box segmentation, but it's just not present in examples. Maybe they will append this in the future. Uh, it was super useful for many tasks, uh, for example, like if we already have detection, we need to prepare masks from this detection, it was a great tool. Second uh, issue, speed. Uh, T4 speed, uh, it's, uh, it's like the sum, it's around uh, 300 or 400 milliseconds uh, per image for processing. And of course, it's much slower than any like simple network that you train specifically for your task. Uh, so of course, you shouldn't be use segment anything 
for your like production algorithm but it's like designed for a different task uh, the next limitation it's the memory consumption uh, segment anything generates a lot of embeddings during the work so most likely it can be optimized but right now for a five second video it will eat like mm, 12 gigabytes of RAM memory and it's quite a lot of course you can like if you are doing something on your prem instance like on your civat instance like it's you should increase the size of your instances if you want to run this segment anything model uh, and fourth issue it's of course about some tracking and segmentation uh, let's go deeper in, in here as i said previously tracking is great uh, but there are some problems the first one is uh, the different interaction between objects so when some objects interact on your video uh, the segmentation may, may be incorrect like it can jump from one, one object to another the bounding uh, the bound of object can be differ sometimes uh, and uh, it's maybe even the second issue with the track and it's fuzzy boundaries uh, between some complex objects. Uh, the third issue with tra like the segmentation tracking, uh, 3D objects uh, are not very well defined by a, a single point, by a single frame. And of course, when you have some complex 3D object that you defined in one first uh, image, probably when you will rotate your camera, there will be some issues with this object. Uh, fourth uh, issue, it's quite predictable, like undistinguishable objects uh, will get confused. So you can check it the samples like the eyes of the seagull are jumping from one to another like uh, and uh, the mm, boots like the segmentation jump from one to another uh, but it's super common problems for any tracking algorithm and any segmentation algorithm so summary in my opinion uh, segment anything to its great model but let's discuss how it will be used uh, and actually i don't have clear answer to this question because like segment anything one i had a, a much broader functionality uh, than it was expected it became a nice tool that solves dozen of unusual problems that used for uh, some demos for MVPs and uh, I think that segment anything too will be the same obviously it's a great tool for labeling it can increase your labeling speed it can increase your labeling accuracy uh, and probably it will be great for some prototyping for some tracking uh, and mm, like obviously it will be a great tool for some startups for video manipulation and like Matt already showed in the samples uh, but in my opinion like segment anything too is definitely not a model that you want to use in your like hardcore production when you want to optimize all the speeds it's great model for distillation but not for the production anyway it's a great release from Meta. Mm, and thank you for watching till the end. Goodbye.